Somos una voz, somos una voz, somos una tierra y un profundo mar. Somos una tierra y un profundo mar. Somos una voz, somos una voz. Somos una tierra y un profundo mar. Somos una tierra y un profundo mar. Somos una voz. Somos una voz. Somos una tierra. Somos una voz, somos una voz, somos una tierra y un profundo mar. Ven acá, mija, ven acá, mija, yo te cargo, yo te cargo. Ven acá, mija, ven acá, mija. Yo te cargo, yo te cargo. Súbete, 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 somos una voz, somos una voz, somos una tierra. Somos una voz, somos una voz, somos una tierra y un profundo mar. Somos una tierra y un profundo mar. Ven acá, mija, ven acá, mija, yo te cargo. Yo te cargo, ven acá, mija, ven acá, mija. Yo te cargo, yo te cargo. Súbete, 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 somos una voz. Somos una voz, somos una tierra y un profundo mar. Somos una tierra y un profundo mar. Somos una voz, somos una voz. Newly born to new life, then new dresses, new years, new teeth, new words. I have learned as I change. Further, I will become different from the I that I know myself as now. I will celebrate or I may shudder at the stark differences, placing ellipses between the old I and the new one. As I look back, I'm unsure whether I love her, the old one, now. And I wonder how much I really loved her even then. But my daughter holds a sparrow, a.k.a. a canyon tohi, just as its heart pulses to a forever stop. 
The difference between a sparrow and a canyon tohi is a matter of specificity, one might say. It's a distinction. She'd found the bird on the ground minutes before, and within those brief minutes, her own heart surrounded it, took it within. This is how love works sometimes, lightning quick as it happens ever softly. At its death, my gentle daughter bloomed into new understanding. Though she was not altogether a new person, this is perhaps also distinction. I ask the internet what it means when a bird dies in your hand. I learn that it can symbolize a change, a sliver between the end of a chapter and the new page of another. My daughter strokes the small feathers along the head of a canyon tohi to say goodbye. I'm softened. I might say now, I believe in the sparrow I was just a few years ago, the different thing I lived as. Even if I do not love the old I, as one would hope, it was life, and all life is to be honored. Something to care for by moving my fingertips along its eyelids, then shut them in peace. Something to wrap ceremoniously in cotton. Something for which we choose our words. Like when my daughter quietly moans at the sight of death, I tell her it's okay. The spirit is okay. It has already journeyed beyond branches of displacement.